Yesterday afternoon from Train World, UPS delivered a package that is this bridge. Now, I'm a little disappointed. If you look at the box, and I'll kind of hold it up and let you see it, you can see this box is really in horrible shape. I mean, there's dents and gouges in it. It's just not really what I would have hoped to see for an item like this coming from Train World. But it is what it is. So today we're going to do an unboxing and we're going to find out what kind of shape this bridge is in. I'm hopeful that it's all intact and nothing's broken, but I won't know till I open the box. Just as a side note, before I get into that, I had another delivery a couple of months ago from Train World. This is how it arrived from UPS. Open, torn, and when I got home and, and picked it up, it was missing a product, and another product was opened and damaged. I've contacted Train World at the time, and I also contacted UPS. That was over two months ago, and I'm still waiting for some resolution for that. Now, I understand we're in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic, but it just seems like an awfully long time to wait for Train World or UPS to get their act together and make me whole on what they damaged. With that bit of an introduction, kind of stark as it is, let's go ahead and get busy and open this up and see what we have and what kind of shape it's in. There's no markings on the box that says open this end or don't open this end or anything of that kind. So I'm just going to go right ahead and open up the box on the end that has the Train World tape on it. Let's see what happens when we get in here. These are four, four and a half inch Lionel Fast Track straight pieces, O gauge that I had ordered, so those appear to be all there and intact. And now comes the moment of truth. This is the bridge. Let's see what we got. So far, so good. Looks like it is intact. And we will see shortly. Let's get that out of the way. So here's the bridge that I ordered. This is uh, Rail King by MTH Electric Trains. Uh, a little bit smashed in on the front here. I can't tell yet if there's any damage, so we'll open it up and we will hope for the best. Again, there's nothing that says open this end or don't open this end, so I guess I just have to guess at it. There is apparently some parts or accessory pieces. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, not sure what that is. Apparently some parts or accessory pieces of some kind. Try to slide it out and see if we can get it out intact in one piece. It's coming out. Looks like it's going to be retrievable. So far, so good. It looks like the outer package, the box that um, Train World packed it in, was really beat up either by Train World or by UPS somewhere along the route. This so far is looking reasonably intact. We'll see shortly if we're 100% okay or not. Get some of the packing material out of here. These are piers that it will set on or that it's intended to set on. Not exactly sure how I'm going to use those. Um, let's pull out this cap on this end. Try to do it without breaking it. And that comes out okay. And here's a pier for one of the ends also. Again, not exactly sure how I'm going to use these piers uh, or how I'm going to structure the bridge as I set it up. Got more styrofoam packing in here. Got plenty of styrofoam packing. No shortage of styrofoam packing. This is uh, described as being able to work with fast track or uh, a number of other kinds of track products. So we'll see if that's true or not. There is a little red beacon light up here on the top. 
that I'll move closer and you can see. A little red beacon light, that would be like an aircraft warning light. Uh, that's what that would be. And here's an electrical connection. Looks like it may connect to a just plug plug. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to find out as we go along. And we'll see what happens if we put the pier underneath here. The piers all appear, <laughs> the piers appear to all be the same. This one has an electrical uh, circuit in it and a circuit board. So that would be the one that would go in the middle under the light, I'm assuming. And this one appears as though it would go on one end or the other, and it does not appear that it's specific as to which end they would go under, at least as far as I can tell. And we'll see what happens here. This is not going to quite fit on my table. It's not, my table's not wide enough. But that's kind of the way it would look once I get it done, get it in place. Uh, so I've got some work to do to read the instructions, which would be a good place to start, and then to see if I can get this laid out and get this installed on my layout. So the box on the outside looked horrible. Uh, the box on the outside did not give me a lot of uh, hope that I would have an intact package inside. But once I did get inside, the merchandise is intact. And so I'm going to have to say I'm good to go on this one. As always, thanks for watching. Please click the thumbs up and like the video down below. And click the subscribe and subscribe to these videos. And we will keep on running our trains. Thanks for watching.